Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey there, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to make sure that you back up all the data or data that is important to you on your Samsung smartphone. And of course, the reason you want to back up is in case you lose your phone or your phone gets damaged, or if you change your Samsung smartphone, or even if you do a reset on your Samsung smartphone, you want to make sure all your data, including your phone, your phone logs, your call history, your messages, your contacts, your home screen setup, and settings are completely and fully backed up and ready to restore if necessary. So in this video, I'll back up my Galaxy S10 Plus and then restore it to my Galaxy S10 so that you may see the entire process from start to finish and how nice and clean the process is. You can literally create a replica of your old smartphone into a new phone or if you reset your existing smartphone to the exact same state it was before you did the reset. Okay, so let's dive in and discover. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to go into the settings of your smartphone, go to the settings, and also then scroll down and go into accounts and backup. You tap on it and then go into backup and restore. Now, when you go inside here, you're going to have two sections. You're going to have the Samsung backup right over here, and then you're going to have the Google backup right over here. Now, I highly recommend that you do both. So with the Google account backup, just choose the backup account that's going to be any one of your Google accounts that is attached to your smartphone and just choose to backup and you can always tap on this one and get some more details it shows you exactly what it backs up so make sure that backup my data on your Google account is done okay but that's uh, the smaller backup option the real backup option option over here is the Samsung account backup now to do this make sure that you have a Samsung account and every single time you actually have a Samsung account, you get 15 gigabytes of free storage in the cloud. So you can back up your entire data to the cloud up to 15 gigabytes. Now let me show you how amazing this thing is. So to back up, all you wanna do after you set up your Samsung account is tap, out, tap on backup data, and then it's gonna be loading up your data that it wants to back up. And then as you can see, that's my Saki 10 Plus. That's the name of this phone right over here. Uh, quick tip real quick. Let, let, let's go back here to the main screen. Okay, go to the main settings Scroll all the way down go into about phone and make sure that you edit this uh, To a more sensible phone name now You might be seeing the serial number or the model number of your smartphone as you can see I need my Saki 10 plus so that's easy to recognize So when I go and do things like backup and restore it's going to be very easy to determine which phone I backed up and which phone I'm restoring to. So let's go back to backup and restore. Tap on this backup data one more time under my Samsung account backup. You tap on it. And then again, uh, over here, it's going to tell you how much cloud storage is available. So in my case, I have 2.37 gigs available because I already did a backup on this one. As you can see, it says last backed up on 4-5-2019, which was just a couple days ago as of the recording of this video. Now, if you look over here, uh, it backs up your phone, your messages, your contacts, your calendar, your clock, that means all your alarms and stuff like that, all the settings in your smartphone, uh, the Bixby settings if you have any, and then you have the home screen uh, settings. Now with this one right here, if I go to the home screen, as you can see, I have a certain way that I've set the whole thing up. I've got a widget here, I've got a widget right over here, i got a bunch of apps, over here I have a uh, free screen. So this this entire thing is going to get backed up completely uh, when I choose home screen backup. And as you can see, I can uh, unselect things I don't want to back up. So back that up. I'm going to be backing all my apps. So it's going to reinstall all my apps, including the settings of these applications, and then my documents, my my voice recorder, and my music. Now, if you don't see this, it's not a big deal. Uh, I have dumped local music files onto the actual smartphone and I'm using Samsung uh, Music Player right over here, as you can see, uh, to play with my music. So you, if you have a Samsung Music Player and if you have local music, 
you can back that up as well. But a lot of people are streaming these days, so that's not a big deal. But if you're not streaming, if you have local music, you can back this up as well. But this is probably gonna take more storage space than all these other options combined. So once you're ready, all you wanna do is you wanna tap on backup. It's gonna start the backup process, okay? And again, something very important that you can do in this screen is if you tap on this button here, you can go to more information. It gives you a full breakdown of how your backup works and what information is backed up for each different section. So for the phone and for the messages, for example, uh, your call and message history gets backed up. For messages, you get enhanced messages, multimedia messages and text, messages. everything gets backed up with context, calendar and everything. And if you look at the apps, uh, not only do I, do I back up the installation files, I also back up the actual app settings. So that's fantastic, you can take a look at this and read this. Uh, one more thing to just keep in mind is files larger than one gigabytes cannot be backed up to Samsung Cloud, okay? So make sure that you back this up. And like I said, let's go back to settings. Let me just go back here, uh, settings, go to accounts and backup. And when you're in backup and restore, make sure you back up this portion and also this portion. It's always a good idea to has, have as many backup backups as possible. All right, so that's my smartphone. And let's say that this is your smartphone and you lost the smartphone or something happened to it. And then you get a, got a brand new smartphone right over here. What I'm going to do is I set this phone up already. I'm going to go to the settings. I'm going to do a restore on this phone. And I'm, I'm going to have you guys watch how everything is going to transfer from here to this phone exactly the way it looks over here or almost exactly the way, okay? It may not be a 100% match, but it's gonna be a 90 to 95% match. So what you wanna do when you grab a brand new Samsung phone is you wanna to go to the settings of that phone, you go to the same exact place, you go into accounts and backup, then you tap on backup and restore, and then you click on this one right over here, restore data, and then from here, you can pick up what phone you want to use uh, as a restore. And like I said, we saved the name of this phone as Saki 10 Plus. So it's showing up right over here, Saki 10 Plus. Uh, the selected data is 6.42 gigabytes. And these are all the options that I have I can actually back up. So I'm not going to back up the music. I'm not, I'm not going to restore the music. I'm sorry. I'm not going to restore the voice recorder. I'm not going to restore the documents. What I do want to restore is apps. Home screen, I'm gonna disable Bixby Home, and this is just so you can customize. If you wanna do a full backup, just click select all, it's gonna do the entire thing, okay? And it's gonna be 6.42 gigabytes as you can see, but in my case, I'm gonna take off music, take off documents, uh, take off Bixby, but I do want to use everything else over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on restore, and the process is gonna start. It says you need to install your backed up apps to restore your apps and home screen. So I'm gonna click on install and that's gonna make sure that all the apps I have over here are going to be restored over here as well with the exact same settings. So tap on install and it's gonna to start to restore the data. As you can see, it says restoring data right over here. Depending on how big the backup is, it might take uh, 10 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour. So in my case, it's restoring right now. You can even see it in real time what's happening. So data restored, data restored, data restored, data restored. It is in fact restoring the settings, home screen and apps right now. But as you can see, everything's happening in the background in real time. So settings is 75%, home screen 33%, apps are 88%. It's doing the installation files and app settings. So we're gonna wait for this to complete. It's gonna take a couple minutes over here. I'm gonna come right back to show you the final finished product. It's gonna be a replica of the smartphone right over here. All right, so as you can see, the restoration process is now complete. Uh, everything has a check mark next to it that I wanted to restore. And now all I wanna do is I wanna click done. And then what it's gonna ask you to do is it's gonna ask you to free up uh, space in Samsung Cloud, meaning the old uh, backed up data it wants me to delete. And of course, that's something you do wanna do, and then you wanna re-back up this smartphone. I'm not gonna do it because I'm just doing for demonstration, but I am going to click on later, but I recommend that you click delete. So your Samsung Cloud storage, which is 15 gigabytes, gets freed up. So you can then back up this smartphone the same way I did this one. So I'm gonna click on later over here, and then I'm gonna go back home and take a look at what's going on. Everything is almost the same. So I've got the widget right over here that transferred over. I got all my apps that transferred over. I got all my folders that transferred over with small differences. So 
Uh, for example, the folder color here did not come up. So if I tap on this here, I can tap over here and just pick that color and make it the same. So small modifications, but uh, as you can see, everything else is the exact same thing. And of course, this third party widget right over here may not restore fully. Like I said, it's going to be a 95% replica, but it's not going to be 100%. But all I have to do, so all I have to do is pinch the screen, go to my wallpapers. And then what I want to do is I want to tap on that little person right over here and go to purchased items. And then I can pick the wallpaper that I had here uh, right from here. So as you can see, it's right here. Just click download. That's the beach and tropical sea. So when I go back into my wallpapers, it is going to show right up. Home screen, set as wallpaper, boom, we've got the same exact phone, one free home screen over here, okay? Now this one here, we're gonna fix this later, so remove from app. But again, if I were to go to my phone over here and if I went to my recents, my contacts, my places, everything is gonna be completely and fully restored. Uh, the reason I'm not showing you that is because there's some private information there, but if I go to my messages, you're gonna need the same exact thing. If I go to my apps, Okay, all the apps that I have here have been transferred over. Okay, so that's just fantastic. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. And remember, uh, make sure to back up your phone just in case to make sure that you're future proof. So if something happens over here, if you reset the phone, if you lose the phone, if it gets damaged, you can easily replicate everything that you had over here to this new smartphone. Alright, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. Alright, have a fantastic day.